Unfortunately, yeah, the plot for Nightmare Before Christmas is is kind of dull. The setting, the characters, the everything of that sort are actually quite interesting, but, um... No, if, if someone were to say, like, yeah, this is kind of boring, I'd probably agree with them. It's kind of like, here is a movie with, like, this interesting world, but the conflict just feels... I'm not sure if forced would be the right word. But it definitely, it definitely felt like it was kind of... Weird. I don't even know how to describe it. It's been years since I've seen it, too, because, like, oh, jeez. Okay. This is going to be pricey. Yeah, I'm going to I'm going to have to farm cards after this. Cuz I'm actually running out of uh cards to put into these door slots. A roulette room would probably a couple of roulette rooms would probably solve the problem. Well, hopefully we can do some grinding on the next world. I think that would be nice and worthwhile. Oogie, hand over the potion. You fools don't know when to quit, say. All this running around is making me thirsty. Oogie, no. Yes. Oh, no. Ah, lip smacking good. Ugh. What's this? What? Something's wrong. Something deep inside me. Something scary. Oogie, what's going on? No, get back. Stay away from me. God, he looks like some kind of weird diaper beast. Actually, not sure how to fight this guy. So, effectively, stick around until it's. Uh, effectively. Oh, I see. I'm supposed to go until... Until I can break some of his dice. Okay, surprise level two. Okay, I kind of understand this. I'm just gonna kind of hit him with whatever. Nope. I don't think we hit him during that one. That's okay. Let's get our cards back. Thanks. Ah, uh, dang it, Donald. Got it? It's kind of a weird duck fight, but I actually rather like this one. This one makes plenty of sense. Like, it's awkward at first until you figure out how to get the, uh... Uh... 
until you until you figure out it's like, oh wait, no, you just have to break the die and you're all good. Confound that Oogie Boogie. He drank nearly all my precious potion. There's only a few drops left. Sora, why don't you ask the doc if you can drink the rest? No, I'd better not. What? Don't you want it? Too bad. It would have been a great experiment. No, doctor. Don't you want to find out about your true memories? Of course, now more than ever. But there's this guy, Axel. I promised him I'd find the truth on my own. I don't understand. When I inhaled the potion, Heartless appeared. And when Oogie drank it, he was overcome with fear. What could it mean? It means the potion was a failure. No, I can't be wrong. Oogie must have found his true memories. Hmm, true memories must unbalance the heart and cause unpre unpredictable changes within. Then what about me? What happens when my true memories awaken? Perhaps something even more terrifying. But this is all just hypothesis. We can't be sure without further research. What's wrong, Sora? Does the doctor's theory scare you? Well, yeah, a little. Well, that's good to hear. Fear and doubt are signs of a strong heart. They push your heart, strike out in new directions, take chances. Without them, your zest for life might fade. As would your taste for fear. And believe me, that would really ruin my fun. Thanks, Jack. I'll remember that. Then good luck, gentlemen. May you always enjoy being frightened. <laughs> I'm not sure if I'm disappointed Wander figured it out almost immediately or if I'm happy I didn't have to listen to Oogie Boogie for 30 minutes again. Oh, did you... Did you have to fight Oogie Boogie for like 30 minutes because you couldn't figure out how to fight him? I had stumbled upon that one by accident. I was just like, well, I'm just gonna try and hit these die. And it's like, no, you're supposed to cancel his attack and then easy pee. I don't know. Dumb luck is a very powerful thing. Let me tell you. And I am full of it. Mostly the dumb right now. A lot of luck too, honestly. I don't know. It was a bit of a mix. Bit of a mix. Okay. Well, let's save, because I bet we're fighting Lar Larzine after this. What level are we at this point? 24. Okay, so that's actually pretty close. I think there's a really good uh, special move we get at 27. Too clever. I'm Larzine. So, are you enjoying your stay at the castle? I bet it's nice to peel away all the worthless memories and awaken the true memories. <laughs> that lie deep in your heart. True memories? Although, it seems that you're still forgetting the most important thing here. When that poor girl hears that you've forgotten her name, why, it'll just, it'll break her heart. Poor girl. Do you know her? <laughs> is she here? Yes, she is. You see, the bad guys are holding her captive somewhere deep inside the castle. And you obviously are the hero, so you have to go save her. Although... Ah! I'm a bad guy, so you have to go through me. Sora! What's that? Is that thing mine? What a shame! 
You've been wearing it all this time and forgot? No, that's not possible. The memory has to be engraved somewhere deep inside your heart. Sora, you think carefully now. What, oh what, could it be? And who gave it to you? Na... Na... Me. Sora, Sora! You're getting it now! Release the memory from within your heart! Nam Namine. Well, it's about time. That's right. Namine. Yes, she's the one that gave you that tacky little good luck charm. Not that you even bothered to remember. No surprise, seeing as you also couldn't remember her name. <laughs> Talk about Heartless, I can't believe you. It'd serve you right if I decided to smash this piece of junk. Let it go! Nominate gave me this. It's very important to me. Oh, it's important to you. Ten seconds ago, you didn't even know what it was! Okay, so that this is gonna hurt a bit. This is it. Vanish. Vanish. Light. Back off. Vanish. This is it. I think this should should mostly be fine. Vanish. I'm just gonna try and stun lock her Lightning. with my combos if I can. I mean, I do a decent amount of damage. Okay, let's... Dump some friends on... Oh! Oh. Thanks. Thanks, Goofy. Re real accurate. Okay. Oh, that's infuri... This is going to be a problem. I don't have... There we go. You have no heart. Oh, I'm taking too much damage. I am. Wow. Yeah, Wonder might finally die. Go figure. She's rough. Okay. You can control Goofy when he does that. Really? I didn't know that. Okay, hold on. Um, how do we do... Oh. I know how we do this. Okay, review decks. I'm so glad it dumps me right before. Okay, so edit deck. So we just want a bunch of zero costs, probably. <laughs> oh. I can only fit two. That's kind of rough. Uh, let's see, do we have to watch this cutscene again? No, 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 don't worry about it. It's tempting to get rid of Jafar for a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of Jafar. I don't know how helpful he is going to be. Boogie Boogie, gradually restores HP, 10 uses, huh. Okay, what I want is eye potion. Yeah, we don't have any elixirs yet. I've heard I should save up for those. Okay, so let's just load up on some healing spells. 
Because I think that's kind of what it was getting me there. Uh, I just didn't have a whole lot of healing anything. Okay. Because I think my combos are good. Yeah, boss deck time. I'm, I'm not sure. Because I think my combos are fine. I did a fair number on her. It's just when it came time for... Uh, when it came time for the actual fight, she more or less could just smack me around. Yeah, so my goal here is... My goal here is to, uh... God damn it, he's healing her. Okay, good luck, Goofy. Oh, come on. I'm gonna lose again. Because, yeah, I, I couldn't break out of it. See, I don't think Wander ch changed decks. No, not yet. So the problem is she can actually stun lock me. Um, like, she can be using a totally regular card, and I can't use one of mine. Which is really frustrating. Okay, um... Review decks. Edit deck. So we really do need some zero costs in here. Um, let's lose the Blitz combo. There we go. We've got three zero costs. What we probably want to do is actually sort them to the front so I can quickly uh, shuffle to them. And keep them on hand. There we go. So that way I can just kind of switch between. I need to time your dodges a bit better. Maybe to some degree, but like, um, once I start getting stun locked, there's not much I can do about it. Roll toward her, not away. Huh. Yeah, no, that's a good point. Okay, so let's try this again. Again, again. Okay. So as long as I have those combo breakers, we're okay. And I just gotta remember to heal frequently. Oh, I don't have anything here. Oh, jeez. Okay, so that did some damage. Yeah. You're done. 
Okay, heal. Healing time. Give me my cards. Okay. Wild Crush. There we go. Perfect. Ah, damn. Goofy Tornado, like, the, the team combo moves are actually really, really good. Just, ow. That was an aggressive boss fight, but yeah, having those zero-cost cards at the very front made a massive difference there, because I could just knock her out of her combos. We obtained Thunder, finally. Alright, and keep raising CP. At some point, I'll start raising HP. I don't know when. You're not as bad as I thought. You really are a hero. A heartless hero. Who asked you? Oh, does it hurt because it's the truth? You are just a baby. And if you're gonna be a baby, then here you go. I created another card from your memories, you know. Be a good boy and say thanks. Ta-ta. Wait, Luxine! Where are you? Don't you dare hide from me! Show yourself! Sora, calm down! She's not coming back! Sora? I hate this. Why'd I need someone like that to bring back... Namine's memory? All right, so we have Atlantica, Neverland. Uh, okay, so we are straight up in Boring Town. That's unfortunate. Nomine, so that's her name. Aren't you glad you finally remembered? Who cares about that? What the bad guys say anyway? Well, I, hmm. Okay. Choking on my own words. Throwing that battle wore me out. Really? It looked to me like you just plain lost. Y How dare you! You don't appreciate the nuances of- An ungainly huh? effort. Vexen! How could you be humbled by someone of such limited significance? You shame the organization. <sighs> How can we help you, Vexen? It's not very often we see you topside. I came to lend you a hand. You obviously believe this Sora has much potential, but I remain unconvinced he is truly worth such coddling. I think an experiment would show if he really is of any value to us. <laughs> well, here we go again. It's just an excuse, so you can carry out your little experiments, that's all. I'm a scientist. Experiments are what I do. Yes. Whatever. You can do what you want. But you know, I think testing Sora is just a cover for testing your valet. Valet? He's the product of pure research. What he actually is, is a toy. Hmm. You should just learn to be quiet. Anyway, since you came all this way, you're gonna need this. A humble gift to my elder. I hope you use it to put on a very good show for us. We don't have time! They've got Namine! We gotta rescue her! Whew! Sora sure does seem like he's upset. You'd be too. He just remembered a friend, but found out she's in trouble. Good point. I guess if we heard that the king was in danger, we would be pretty upset about that too. Huh. There's not a whole lot of ceremony for that. It just kind of ended. All right, whatever. 
Okay, so let's save, because I don't want to do that fight again. I get the feeling I'm going to. Hey, thank you, Seagull, for all the for all the bits. Celebrations for me not getting my ass kicked. Alright. I should probably talk to these characters. Any friend of yours is a friend of ours. Let's go help Naminé. Come on, Sora. We gotta rescue Naminé from the bad guys. So, question. D is... So, do we just have four more? How many chapters are there for this? So, we got Hollow ba Bastion, 100 Acre Wood, Atlantica, and Neverland. So, there is... There is that. Okay. Hmm. I will admit I was actually kind of hoping we could get to, uh, new some things. I guess there's not really, like, anything immediately that I'd need to go for, but, um... Uh, I don't know. Okay. I mainly just want to see if there's any, like, interesting treasures for some of these. No. Well, we should probably just do what? Ad get Atlantica out of the way? Is an hundred acre wood the Winnie the Pooh one? Yep. So I think I'm gonna do Atlantica first. I've heard it's a tough one though, so we'll see how this goes. Hopefully I don't have to swim. I hate swimming. Like, the idea of Atlantica is cool. Okay, cool, we're walking. Gosh, this looks like the bottom of the sea. Sure does. How come we can breathe? Huh, beats me. Maybe someone cast a spell on us. It's just like breathing air. But it's not air. See? Someone's swimming this way. Well, Shell gets to, to have her time in the sun. Um, do you really need headphones for this one? Well, but I'd like to hear it. Okay. What, you mean what you're saying or the, just the music in the background? Music, I want to see what the environment's like. It's not great. You're not going to be. Also, that whole comment about being out in the sun was just perfect. Out there in the sun Bet you on land they understand That you don't reprimand your daughters Bright young women Sick of swimming Ready to stand I'm ready to- Yeah, I'm not gonna start going into like the whole like Little Mermaid business bit because I just absolutely love Little Mermaid It's my favorite song ever Ah! One of them I, I think my favorite Disney songs are uh, part of your world and colors of the wind but yeah in any case if anyone asks you didn't see me what sorry I don't have time to explain just promise you won't tell hey what's that sparkly thingy you got there oh nothing nothing at all remember you didn't see me Well, looks like she was in a hurry. She was hiding something. I wonder what it was. Alright, key of beginnings, as usual. Alright, now we're in Atlantica, but for some reason we walk this time, which makes my life a lot easier, actually. Considerably so. We... That was a big mistake. Oh. Hmm? Man, that interrupted everything. What? The fight? Oh, the music? <laughs> Sorry. I mean, I don't know. Just look at the world around you. If you ever want to do like a karaoke, karaoke thing for YouTube, you could totally just record it. Nobody would, nobody would stop you. Huh? You could just do like a, a karaoke thing 
for for YouTube. Just singing I, Disney songs. I don't know if covers are allowed on YouTube. It's one of those things where they're so often done, but at the same time, I know that they're not allowed on Twitch. And then also, I mean, once again, copyright. Eh, I wouldn't worry about it too much. As long as you don't use the background music, I'm sure you can get away with quite a lot. I mean, cover songs as long as you're, uh, as long as you're, you know, well, doing your own rendition, not, like, sampling the song. I think you're usually, like, straight up pretty safe. Yeah, I know that some people just have to make their, like, entire symphonic accompaniment from the ground up. And then there's also, I, I mean, I did just find a channel that's really cool where someone was just doing English covers of Japanese anime openings. And it's like, I don't know. Yeah, uh, there's tons of peaceful. people. There's tons of people who do that. And yeah, generally, generally, as long as you're not like uh, running afoul of the automatic, automatic uh, copyright stuff, most companies just leave you alone. Mm -hmm. It's just when you're like using their own songs or like trying to review like a movie or whatever. That's when it's a bit tougher. Yep. Not because necessarily uh, you're not allowed to, but just because because uh, uh, mostly just because companies are kind of stodgy. They're like, what? You're trying to create interesting original content using our our products? Screw you! But it's legal. Screw you! I don't know. Kind of a low opinion of, uh... This probably isn't going to do great. Yep. I have kind of a low opinion of, uh, movie companies and whatnot. Universal just shut down my, uh... What was it? They shut down my, my series on Ratchet and Clank. I, I'm still mad at them for that one. Well, that's because they actually used footage from the mo movie in their game, right? Yeah, or, or vice versa. Vice versa. I truly have no idea, because it was Insomniac. Like the, these guys had the budget to make the cutscenes themselves, so who knows? Well, was the game just a? It was a, a playthrough of the movie. Um, sort of. I mean, technically, the movie was kind of an adaption of the game. Yeah. Well, unless they actually made the animation exactly the same, like they used the same engine no, they, and everything. Uh, in this case, it was straight up the cutscenes were in the movie. But So that makes, that makes me believe that the movie was made first. No, the game came out well before the movie. Though I guess it could have been made first. And I, I don't know. Well, was it a remaster or was it a new game So entirely? Ratchet and Clank 1 uh, was like a PS2 title. And then they made uh, the Ratchet and Clank kind of like um, reintroduction, um, reboot, I guess. Sorry, I'm quite tired. Uh, so they made the uh, the reboot, which came with a movie tie-in, and that's where the copyright problems came. Because I have, I truly have no idea. I think they may have made them simultaneously, released yeah. the game and then the movie, and hoped that they would both be able to influence the sales of one another in Probably. a positive fashion, but then the problem is... Except for one of them has terrible reviews and the other one has great reviews. <laughs> the game or the movie? the movie? The game actually has good reviews. The movie? No. Some games don't translate well. I, I suppose it's because with a video game you're trying to condense a lot of... A plot and hours of you know work and adventuring into a much smaller time frame. It's like if you tried condensing a television series into a movie. Yeah. I don't know. I wish uh I wish people would stop trying to make video game movies and just make good movies. I, I just wish that people made more unique content and stop trying to, you know, reproduce, rehash, remaster, reboot, 
uh, make sequels, prequels, whatnot to the same series over and over and over again. Create something new. I mean, the, the problem is it's not as safe. Screw safe. I am fading. Oh, and the budgets of these things run into the millions. Uh, let's see. Investing Shock impact. Simba's roar sends enemies flying and triggers stop. Stop. That's... Yeah. That's okay. Should I exit? Uh, you might as well. I mean, chances are uh, I'm not actually going to continue with the plot in this area. And people are bringing up the Doom movie. I I'd be interested in seeing that just because, what, The Rock is in it? Is it available anywhere? Because, I, I, like, I'm I, not against it. It's just... Find it. Yeah. But no, I think I'm just going to be kind of running around fighting things for a bit, and then I'm probably going to go lay down. It's finally coo cooling down just enough that I could, like, reasonably say, yeah, I could actually, I could actually stop. I'm very tired. If I want to be good for D&D &D tomorrow, I have to take a... I have to take a break. It's not that great of a movie. Yeah, it's kind of my general assumption is most movies... I'd probably put it on the same uh, level of quality as like the Tomb Raider movie. Yeah. Oh yeah, there were multiple. Why did they think that was a good idea? I don't know. Hey, thank you for the even more bits, Seagull. Okay, so we're just gonna buy... Ooh. They have like higher tier versions. Okay. So what's this got? Okay, some uh, some new new keyblades. I'm just gonna buy some of these. I might trade in some of the. Uh, uh, I might trade in some of my old cards. Maybe I don't know. I don't entirely know if it's justified to do so. Okay, so let's let's sell some stuff because I've got all these like no cost or these like low cost attack. Things and like I don't think I'm gonna use most of them. Single cost isn't worth it. Zero or anything above five, I can kind of feasibly keep around. The movie was terrible. The Rock only barely made it tolerable. Ugh. Let's see. I guess honestly, the Final Fantasy movies weren't terrible. They were kind of fun. Yeah, Dave Bautista wants to play Marcus Phoenix in a Gears of War movie. I mean, it could work. I just wish they just. Make a Gears of War game, and Dave Batista could just be in it. Instead of, like, trying to... It, isn't there also the Rampage movie, or did that already come out? Was that garbage? I, like, heard it was garbage. Okay, oh. Get a little bit more. I want to I wanna get some thunder. Uh, let's see. I've probably got like a billion Simbas that I'm not going to use anymore. There we go. Get out of here, Simba. No one wants you. Uh, let's see. Oh no. I want to buy cards. So I'm just going to save up. Uh, I'm just going to get the really expensive packs, I think. So we got, uh, we got a Thunder and the rest are just summons. Though a Dumbo summon actually is probably going to backfire. It takes too long. Okay. Anyway, uh, you know what? Oh, right. Let's let's finish clearing this room out. There's there's some. Is there? No, that's that's the last of the trash. Cool. So I have a room of reprieve. I'm just gonna slap it down right in the middle of this, and we'll go from there. Cause yeah, I am I'm losing my ability to commentate very quickly here, and that's usually a good sign that uh, go to bed wander. Uh. I try not to record when I'm, like, stupid tired, but sometimes I don't get the chance. And, like, I think I've talked about this before, but I, like, I seriously rely on multiplayer to keep me up sometimes. Uh, like, yesterday, uh, starting with multiplayer was, like, the only reason why I even streamed. And so, like, today, no multiplayer, so I'm just like, bedtime yet. And the answer is yes, it is actually bedtime. 